Another important criterion for successful innovation is marketing capacity. This means, first of all, a reliable product, which is effective and easy to use. But this means also effective channel distribution in omnichannel distribution. It means also a brand name and high brand equity to be created that communicates and differentiates the product. That means an adequate packaging, which is attractive. And finally, promotion or advertising, which is clear, points out the relative benefits of the innovation, which is memorable and which communicates about the product's advantages. Next, customer relationship management advantages related to service and personalization, which are crucial to improve the relationships between the brand and the customers. Service and relationships are particularly important for risky innovations, which are perceived as risky for the customers. This is important to decrease the perceived risk through personalized relationships and perfect after sales service and service recovery management. We can take the example of Apple and the Apple Store, where the Apple advisors are working on the relationship between the customers and the brand, and where they show how a problem can be resolved or a product can be exchanged in case of any product failure. Another criterion is consumer involvement, which means that customers get engaged into the innovation process. First of all, we have to distinguish between customization and customization. Customization is personalization, when the company uh, custom and personalizes the product for the customer. Customization is when the customer designs the products and the company makes it. This is related to consumer empowerment, co-creation and co-production, which creates more value for the customers. Customization or personalization brings a lot of benefits to customers as the product or service fits perfectly to the individual needs of the customers. On the other hand, customization increases the engagement of the customers as the customer is very early engaged into the product innovation process and designs products for the company or helps to design products for the company. It is related to consumer empowerment, that is the company gives the power or the liberty to consumers to work together to cooperate with the firm. It is related to co-creation uh, which creates more value for the firm but also for the customers. In the case of co-creation, the client is doing the job. And it's nothing else than outsourcing research of development, market research, and this increases thus the success of the market. Examples are Lego, well, with a platform where you can create your own model, the customers can create the model. McDonald's, where customers can participate in creating new burgers. Nivea is doing also co-creation, Threadless, which is a platform where customers can submit ideas, and these ideas are then realized, voted uh, by other customers. Huh? So, in summary, it's nothing else than outsourcing from, of research and development to the market and to the customers.